Welcome back to the Jazz Show. As you can already tell on the title, we have DeAndre here. Oh, he's messing up his camera. I, he, um, he's trying, I guess he's trying to get all situated. <laughs> but we're here because he has a casting company in Raleigh, North Carolina. And we're going to dive in of how he started, his reason behind he started, and the ups and the downs. Just the same as the hair braiding, um, hair braiding video. <laughs> So here we go, DeAndre, say hi to the people. Hello everyone, how you doing? Awesome. So yes, yeah, so you had this casting business in North Carolina, and I think that's really dope because when you hear about like if you're trying to be an actress or anything in the entertainment business, you don't think of North Carolina. You think of what? You think of LA, New York, and even Atlanta. You trying to make it, so tell me, are you trying to make Raleigh one of those next places to be at as well for upcoming or aspiring actresses or anybody in the entertainment business? Well, I would say I agree with you when people think of acting, people immediately go to Africa, you know, mentally they go to Los Angeles or Atlanta or New York. Atlanta has just recently over the past 10 or so years has become more notable to you. The general public, when it's coming to acting, usually people you thought I'm going to Hollywood, I'm going to Broadway, New York. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I'm not really just trying to provide individuals in North Carolina a platform to really get themselves out there and make connections to find opportunities at the indie level or mainstream level, whether you want to work on a passion project because you know, not a profit, or whether you're trying to get yourself onto, you know, Hulu, Apple TV. HBO or network television. Uh, with that being said, the places that people usually think they are thinking about being in North Carolina specifically is Charlotte. Though Wilmington, North Carolina has been a notable place where a lot of iconic films has been, uh, well, what is it, uh, captured and people like that don't really know that, but it has been. Uh, around here, North Carolina has produced a lot of great individuals in the film, television, and theater area. From videographers, actors, producers, to the directors, and more. Mm -hmm. And when I first started off doing casting, I started off on Instagram, and it was called TEP Events, which is basically a play off of my production company, that's me Entertainment Productions. But I kind of ventured off from providing that platform on Instagram, which I'm probably about to start back up again in about a month or two when the new year arrives. But I decided to, you know, engage with Facebook more. Okay. I was posting cast and calls on Facebook. I was getting more engagement, reaching out to more people. So instead, I switched it from TV events to North Carolina actually cast and calls. So North Carolina, uh, what is it, uh, on a Facebook group page. And uh, if you just type it in, you'll see a collage of famous notable African-American female actresses that inspired me in my career and it's just very influential in the game over the past almost five decades so when you type in your client actress cast and calls you'll see it come up awesome and i'll also put all this information down below in the description box so you can just press that link it'll take you straight to it okay because i know us people hate typing so i got y'all i got y'all it's not barely you can still have a lot of those features, but a group is specifically catered to one specific type of avenue that you want to be in, whether it's a group for uh, painters, a group for singers, a group for rappers, a group for hunters or whatnot. And it can be a public or private page. Nonetheless, there's a moderator, and there's an administrator, the administrator oversees everything, and then they can choose moderators that control People that, that are accepted into the group, they can control the questions that you ask somebody in preparation to allow them into the group or not, which is like, you know, pre, uh, pre, -scan, uh, pre scanning mm -hmm. process. And you can create certain polls, so you can highlight and pin certain comments at the top of the page if you would, like a regular Facebook profile. So the group is a very, let's just say, more. It can be inclusive and it can be exclusive depending on where you want to go with it. I started off that Facebook group a few months ago, I think at about the I think around the late springtime and I had about give or take thirty something people right. until across more and more casting calls and 
groups that I was part of in North Carolina in the southeastern area of the country, which is where North Carolina is, in the uh, primarily in the acting world, in the in the film and television realm. I said, you know what? I'm getting more engaged from when I post things on Facebook. So let me switch my energy from doing cast calls from Instagram mm -hmm. to Facebook. Facebook allows you to connect with the people more and easily access them. Instagram only has a certain amount of avenues that you can go. So I was able to continuously, you know, add more notable, notable cast calls when at first I only did any level things, which now I still do, but I've also been able to balance that out with more mainstream level cast and calls. And now I went from about 30 something group members to almost nearly a thousand mm -hmm. uh, cast that threshold about, <laughs> by, probably by the end of, by the end of the year, near Christmas time. Awesome. That's great. So, um, tell tell the people what made you want to even start um, a casting site or business. What well, made me want to create a casting platform was the fact that a lot of people that want to become actors, want to get into the film and television or theater realm, don't know where to go. They think it's this, you know, it's just. This voyage that you have to go through online to just find a simple cast ball, which is not. Some people may make it seem that way, but it's really not. And mm -hmm. I wanted to provide an easy, accessible place to find these cast balls. Now, my group is prime, so you can't just come in just because you want to. I have about three to five questions that people must answer. Mm -hmm. I want to say have to put super thought into it, but they have to show that they're trying because if you're just coming in just to see, then I take the crap serious and I take and I and I want people's motives to get into this career field to be serious as well because so many people work so hard to get an opportunity when others just you know stumble upon it and I don't knock anybody's grind. Some people you know just come across opportunity because they look good, just come across opportunity because their body looks nice. Uh, what is it, so forth or so on. But I also want to show, what is it, shine light on those that bust their butt day in and day out for the craft. And they deserve, they deserve to know that they are receiving an opportunity for the work they're put in and it's not just given to everybody. So to, to hit on what you asked me, I really wanted to start this to give people a platform to, you know, post their casting calls and come across it on an easy basis. There are casting calls such as backstage, actress access, and more that charge you a certain amount of money each time. And I don't know if I sooner or later will, you know, maybe charge people to be in the group or whatnot, but it'll probably only be like $5 a month or something like that, agree $5 a month. But right now I've only done it for free. Um, no subscription or any, or any kind, and it's really it's really going a long way. And I honestly don't post about it. It's honestly been it's been behind the scenes, but I've got so much engagement and so many stories of people that thank me for the casting calls I posted or giving them information on said casting call that they told me they wouldn't even come across unless they came across my page. And I'm just happy to give people opportunities, you know, to either kick off their career or ascend it to levels that. They, they weren't at yet. Right. No, I you'd be, you be surprised, but Facebook is really, well, internet, you can find a lot of resources for free on the internet. You just have to do like your searching. Um, I had came across different groups. Like when I started YouTube, I saw, I found a lot of different like YouTube groups. So I joined in of those, you know, you get to see other YouTubers. So anything so i'm pretty sure like it is once you start a group people are going to search because a lot of people are searching on facebook and different groups on different avenues that they're trying to like go into so i think that's really dope that um, they have that and so where do you see like your casting um like where do you i guess where do you want your casting to go like do you want to make this like a a really big thing where um, your casting um, platform in Raleigh is like one of the biggest ones there so that way people can also navigate oh we don't have to go to Atlanta or New York let's go to Raleigh because DeAndre has a casting 
You're enjoying the wine too, I see. It's my preference. The hard liquor is for special occasions. I'm sure you understand. I guess I do. I usually come here. I've never seen you here before. It's my first time. Heard it was the place to go to relax and have fun. Well, whoever refers you led you the right way. So, yeah, so that's a snippet of um, one of his um, short. Is it, is it considered short films or is it short clips? So currently right now, uh, what is it? We have a short film titled Senseless. Uh, it's a thriller uh, led by my good friend and amazing actress, Amber McCormick. Also, that released this past year was my drama series, The Inner City, uh, led active by myself and Mercedes Cooper, who is based out of the North Carolina area. And you know, we also have a couple more projects on the way, but those are two dominating ones right now, especially in the city series. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jasper's going to choose that one out on one of the projects to show. Episode three is coming out soon, and the next couple of episodes are dropping in January. So, short films and series is being my production company. Either way, whichever one gets picked up and put out there on the mainstream level, I'm thankful regardless. And we have more projects on the way coming up next year. Uh, and whichever one she chooses, either way, I'm pretty sure the audience will love it. Oh, yeah. And let me tell you, the quality, you would think it's already mainstream. The quality is great. Okay? What you're doing is awesome. I think I think it's very, like, um, inspiring for even young people of our age to even like start their casting business or production business. So even like people who just looking for that representation, like you saying, and hopefully you guys are watching this 
it doesn't like you say it doesn't matter where you at you don't have to necessarily be in raleigh north carolina you could join his group yeah you could join his group and get that representation get that extra help make sure you answer those three, through those three questions okay and make sure you're very thorough because he likes thorough he don't pick anyone right you don't just be picking anyone you 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 gotta be you know on it right so was there any like ups and downs in starting your business well with this being entertainment productions i was started a few months after i graduated in 2019 and i kind of decided i wanted to forego the graduate school route trying to get into a conservatory of some sort and i thought to bet on myself because i no longer wanted to be here i always had a dream of doing film and television when i got into the realm of acting and when I was going to these auditions, I was getting roles and receiving opportunities that just wasn't my style. Mm -hmm. It wasn't uh, per se, and I wasn't coming across roles that really I felt fit me. Even though I know people say, you know, you got to go through the mud or you have to, what is the word? I'm trying to come up with the analogy that people usually say, but you have to, uh, what is it, work, what is it, you have to work through the show before you get there, which I was doing. But I also say, talented enough and versatile enough to create my own opportunities to create the content and the stories and the tales that I want fictional or not fictional so what I decided to do was put my career into my own hand or at least allow a set a sector of my career to be in my own hands not saying that I just uh just withdrew from going to auditions and stuff as a whole uh, because I still did notable plays in Charlotte and Raleigh and national things on mainstream television and movies uh, but I decided to create my own projects, such as Earth My Nerve series, which is a sketch series in the realm of Key and Peele, and then the color, Dave Chappelle, Amy Schumer, et cetera, et cetera. But also the inner city. Really one of the great series highlighting the urban inner city community and certain avenues people go through in that type of lifestyle. So this entertainment productions started off with an opportunity, well, started off with an idea for me just to create content to get myself out there, to get more directors looking at me, to get more agencies looking at me, to get more producers and writers looking at me to want me to act in their projects. But when word got around, other individuals wanted to join in on my journey, wanted to join in on my company and stories that I told because they really enjoyed my writing or they really enjoyed my production style or they really or they really just wanted to be part of what I had going on and I looked at this opportunity to not only give myself an opportunity, but give other people opportunities as well. They continuously got passed up or don't know where to start. And I just took advantage of the opportunity. And I've had a lot of success, made a lot of connections, uh, made a lot of connections and allowed people a lot of opportunities and allowed them, a lot of people that work with me have gone on to do a lot of great things because they told me that I really inspired them to, you know, keep going. And they may have not come across an opportunity unless said person saw them on my things. And I'm not trying to take credibility for, I'm trying to take credit for what they have going on. I'm just speaking what they said to me. And being able to get people to join my projects really build a sense of confidence in me to be able to get people onto other projects, whether they ask me for actors or not which really led to my mindset of starting that casting call page, so that casting call group. Awesome. Well, that's great. So it seemed like it just like fell on your lap, you know, because you was you was going on one way, but then people were seeing what, what you was doing and they loved it and they wanted to join in. And you said, well, let's make this a production, a real one. I think that's cool. That's how great things happen. Like great things happen unexpectedly and, you know, so everyone out there, uh, understand great things happen unexpectedly, so don't be looking for it. It's gonna come to you, because what's for you is for you. Nothing nothing can change that. Nothing is going to like harm that in any kind of way. Well, DeAndre, I think that is so dope. Again, all of this information is gonna be down below in the description box, okay? Um, I already showed a clip of some of his work that he has done but i'm also going to put a link of the full clips down below as well so you can just click those check it out follow him follow his journey 
um we'll definitely would love to have you back in like a couple months just to see like what has changed <clears throat> excuse me see how what has changed in your journey how does that that was awesome 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 well thank you so much for joining in on the jazz show we truly appreciate <clears throat> excuse me are you okay we truly appreciate you and I just hope and pray that even more great things go comes along your way and you just keep doing your thing, okay? I most certainly will and I thank you for providing me an opportunity to be on your platform and you know expose my brand and my business. What you're doing is definitely a, definitely a great thing for the community and a great thing for entrepreneurs, creators, creators, the whole nine yards and the fact that you don't have to do it, but you still do it. It's a very charitable thing, and I commend that a lot of that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want this to blow up so that way I can help more people, you know, because I feel like exposing people of their businesses should, you shouldn't have to, like, really, like, cost anything. I know a lot of people for a promotion, you got to pay, like you're saying, like, pay for this, pay for that. And certain things, just showcasing it, it's like a win-win, especially for the YouTube. Like, for me, I would get the views, and then they would get the clientele. It's like a win-win, you know? Almost no, well, certainly. You, know, <laughs> that you guys have been incentivized in some type of way or they have a good trade-off, so I want to make this an example. Yeah, awesome. Well, already, you guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, okay? Make sure you follow the Andre and follow his journey again and watch all of his series. And if you're in Raleigh, North Carolina, hit him up if you're trying to be an actor or even if you're a writer or because you work with, with them all, right? Producers, directors, right? Awesome. Uh, so, yeah, so just hit him up. And yeah, we'll see y'all next Friday at 6 p.m. Bye. Say bye, Dante. Goodbye.